Hi everyone, welcome to the next video in this little series from um, Rita Berman's Minor Riser Duck Asian book. Um, I did say in between videos I would have a go at my swatch chart and just check which of the Tombow Erogiton pencils change colour with white pen. I don't know how easy it is to see that I've done a little white dot on each one and the Anemone Pink from the EX6 set, which the EX are the extras, they don't come in the boxes, is the only one that um, bleeds into the white. You can see it's gone pink there. So of course I happen to just pink, pick the one <laughs> that did that. So it's the only one that does it. Right, we're going to do this swimsuit um, now, um, which is rather cute, I think, with its little florals on it. Um, I thought we would do some reds. We haven't done the reds yet. Um, I'm going to start with the dots on the florals here um, with the dark red and then when I apply my lighter red I can just colour over the top and I don't think it will matter. So I'm going to use what is called the, I'm just looking, um, maroon, um, which is the sort of darkish red, maroon, it's going to need a sharpen to get into these little circles. So we we'll start with that one. Ooh, I just put my foot on my um, a bit of my chair, the base, and it's so cold. <laughs> I've got no socks on today because it's warm. My feet are already really cold. Obviously not as cold as the chair, but uh, it's rather nice. They do say that having, if your feet are cold, the rest of you is cooler. Um, I don't agree. Um, my feet are always cold, and uh, I'm not always cold. <laughs> In the winter, um, yeah, I notice it. If I can get my feet warm, then the rest of me is pretty warm. But this time of year, my feet can be really cold and my body can still be really hot. But anyway, it's... Uh, I don't want to warm my feet up. I have got some socks um, around, but I'm not going to put them on until I put my shoes on later. So I'm just getting some colour down on these, just uneven sort of blobs. Now I think I'm also going to use this for some of the edging. I'm thinking here, I want it a little bit darker near the edge and lighter towards the middle. I think it's quite nice to sort of pick out a colour that we've used just a little bit of for another aspect of the swimsuit. I think it, it just ties it all together really. Got a towel up here. Look. I did wonder what that was. So why have we got a rug? <laughs> it's a beach towel, I'm assuming. <laughs> I've got a nice beach towel. It's uh, It's got like a sunset colours on it. It's pretty, and palm trees and things. But we don't go to the beach. I really dislike being all sandy. <laughs> Isn't that boring? I'm such a boring old... I want to say a rude word, I won't. Person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I used to love the beach. And I used to take the children when they were younger and we'd do sandcastles and things. It was great fun. And I'm sure they'd still love to do that, but uh, they wouldn't because they're too old. And, yeah, they can't. And I got really annoyed when I was too old to do it because I wanted to. It was very cross. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to make a little darker at the bottom but then I thought oh I can play sandcastles with my children but we didn't really have a lot of beach holidays we had one when they were four and that was a lot of fun we made sandcastles and dug an enormous hole every day and uh, the tide would come in and it would fill up and then we'd come back the next day and dig another enormous hole it was great fun and running onto the beach was a little pipe of water, like a little spring. You spend ages blocking it up with pebbles and things and making a dam in there. It was fine because it didn't back up or anything. It just found another route round and uh, it was good fun. But apparently the beach we went to is sometimes pebbles and sometimes sand. And we were really lucky that the year we went, it was sand. It just depends on the winter apparently and how the... You know what what comes in with the tide really okay 
I want a lighter red for the florals. Um, I was going to use the um, scarlet. I'm trying to use different colours um, through this um, so you can see all the different colours. So this is the scarlet and uh, I'm just going to put it down in as even a amount as I can, you know, without doing any shadowing, shading, shadowing, different um, intensities of colour. It's not easy to do it like this, to get it even, but I'm just going to do my best, as I'm sure you will as well if you're colouring along. It's quite a bold choice, a red swimsuit, isn't it? It's not going to be all red. Um, the uh, The main body do it a yellow. We've got a yellow one there, haven't we? Have a think. But um, yeah, I don't think I would want to wear something this bright and bold. I think what was I used to always have black swimsuit. I wanted something that wouldn't go see through and that was more flattering. But uh, I don't know whether it was a good choice or not. I'm tempted to do the lacy bits in this colour as well. Um, just having a think. I could wait and then decide later. I don't have to decide now. And the straps. I think I'll do the straps in the main colour of the sort of background body type. That one's a bit darker than the rest, because I've pressed a bit harder. Never mind. Okay, so there's our floral design. Um, we need a green. Um, what should we use? We've got loads of greens, I'll show you, in the set. But we've got these sorts of um, bluey greens. I think I might pick that hummingbird. That one's really pale. Oh, VP look very pale. The spruce actually is quite nice with red, I think. And then you've got all these. And these are quite very pale colours. And this one's called neon, and you can barely see it, um, which is quite interesting. But I think we'll go for the spruce. I want something bold to go with our bold red. I can hear a really strange squeaking noise. Can you hear it? I don't know if it's a bird. I don't know what it is. Anyway, here's our spruce green. Oops. Spruce, there we go. I think tipping it away from the light helps you see it. I think the light just shines off and blinds you other way. Again, I'm just trying to get these fairly even. I'm not worrying about um, shade and shadow. Can definitely feels like it's getting a bit stickier. I, the cloud is thickening up. I don't know whether we're going to have another thunderstorm. If we do, I have to stop recording and run. To my son's bedroom windows are wide open. He's got Velux windows, so it could be all over his carpet. <laughs> Actually, I did angle them in a different way. You can angle them in two ways so that um, it doesn't do that so much. Hmm, I'm wondering whether to do the lacy bit in the green, or else it's going to be the only bit of green we have. Yeah, I can do these bits. I think it just... I'm going to try and make this bit a bit lighter, like because the band is lighter in the middle. So just layer it up a little bit more on the edges. Whoops, there we go. And the same here, so this one, having a few more layers, just round and round a bit more than this one. It's actually harder the, the ones with less layers, because if you want them to look even, you've got to get it right first time. Which is tricky. Tricky for me, anyway. What I'm going to do, these are all joined together, none of the others are. I'm just going to do this all even and then darken it in a minute. It's fairly even apart from there. Just layer it up a bit more. Then reduce those layers.
is. There we go. Now the background, how are we going to tie this all together? Now we could leave it white. I'm thinking maybe a yellow. Um, or maybe a light green. What about the lettuce green or the amaryllis? Hmm. Is it called amaryllis or is that asparagus? Can I not read? It's asparagus. I think that will work. Now it's really pale this one. It's from the very pale set. So it's not going to be very vibrant, but I'm thinking that's what I want. I want the flowers and the red to stand out, but I don't want it to be completely white. So you'll see, as I put this down, that there's barely any colour to it at all. The sun has just come out, so I don't know if it's going to make it any better or worse. But I can definitely see there's some colour. It looks quite yellowy in my camera but it is definitely a green. And I'm just going to go around everything. Now you could, if you want, colour over the top of the green um, leaves because it wouldn't matter too much but I'm a bit worried that I might smudge that green I don't know how smudgy these are so uh, I don't want to do that so I'm just gonna gently put this down here yeah, the sun's back out so the clouds can't have come too thick we had so much thunder yesterday it's quite um quite fun didn't hear any in the night but I woke up loads but the problem is that because I'm getting hot flushes and it's hot. I just wake up when I get when I get over hot. So uh, and then I'd left the bedroom. Um, we have French doors in our bedroom. I'd left them open. I'm going to try and just colour that bit up a little bit more. Um, so I'd left the door open a little bit, but not enough to let the rain all over the carpet if it rained, which it did. And uh, open the bathroom window. We've got a little ensuite shower room um so i tried that red um, smeared a little bit um so um, i might have gone out of the line so it might not be um so i did that and uh so i kept feeling a little bit cold and then a little bit hot and it's like, Ugh. right that's that as i say it's quite pale i can see that it's there i think you probably can as well Let's do this um, pretty beach towel. Um, I think we need some sort of darker purples. Um, we have a few with our blues. Here we go. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the crocus first as a base colour. And then I'm going to do some dark purples on top because there's so much going on in such small areas. I think it'd be easier just to get a base colour down here. So crocus just all over here. It's such a pretty colour, this. It is from the um, C, oh, it's from the P set, P, which is pale. But it reminds me of, um, is it lavender in the, um, in the um, Prismacolors or lilac? Those two are being, they've been um, discontinued, haven't they? Orchid and something else now. They are really close though, the new ones. I felt but because I haven't used my prism colors for years and years and years I have had them for years but I don't use them loads then I'm not really used to the colors if that makes sense so it just seemed close enough to me but um, with them um, if it was polychromos I would notice I'm sure because I use those so much I'm trying to get this fairly even Oops, I don't really want to go over the um, strings of that um, swimsuit, but I did. Never mind. I'm trying to work out how many videos I've done for this. I've done, this is my third one, isn't it? Because uh, I want them to sort of fit together. 
I don't want them to be separated by a Monday planner page. Um, so I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Is this Friday's video, I think? So we can do two more and still fit it in if necessary. Okay, there's our base. Now we obviously need something quite vibrant to go over the top of that. Um, the wild grape, oh, the sun shining on my piece of paper. Um, I think the wild grape is probably the best bet. I'm trying to find it. There it is. Oh, I can't get it out. My um, tripod's in the way. Here it is, wild grape. I'm going to sharpen it and then we're going to just put in some details. There we go. Okay. So let's just start here and work our way through. This is such a pretty colour. I'm actually just, I'm not, um, I'm not doing any um, shading or anything. I'm just putting down some block colour. And these sorts of shapes. This is not really um, the colour I would expect of a beach towel, to be honest. But there we go. Normally they're much brighter, but then the pattern isn't what I would expect either. Normally they're sort of striped with different colours in the stripes, or at least mine is. I remember buying mine and really liking it. Um, I'd always wanted one. My mum had one. Hers was hers is interesting. It's black on one side with a coloured sort of silhouette of the picture, which is on the. See that should really have a bit in there, shouldn't it? And then um, on the other side, it's multicoloured stripes with a black picture. So it's sort of reverse. And um, hers is a a scene of, in a sort of silhouette of a camera, I think, and someone taking a photograph like on a beach. It's quite interesting. She's had it since before I was born, I think. But then I've had mine since before my boys were born, so I suppose that's similar. Right, let's move on. Oops. My sheet's getting in the way. Hang on a minute. Let's, uh, let's try and get that in the middle. We're just missing a bit. Let's come out a tad. There we go. So we've got this one to do. Um, where should we go now, colour-wise? Um, hmm, let's go with some, maybe, maybe some darker greens. We've used greens, but not as a main colour. So let's do that. Let's grab the um, Scouring Rush, which is like the darkest green. I'm trying to find it. Uh, where are you? Forest green, there it is. And use that for the sort of main bits and then we'll go from there. So here it is. Oops, Scouring Rush. It's a good name, isn't it? I've got no idea what it means. But I'm going to do like this sort of outline. Like I have for the others where I've done a sort of darker outline bit to sort of frame the item really, a bit lighter in the middle there. This one's very high cut in the leg, isn't it? I always think they look very elegant. Um, they make your legs look longer as well. I, my swimsuit actually is comes down with little um, a bit here. I uh, yeah. I prefer something that covers me up a bit more. I think when you get to a certain age, unless you've got like the body of a model, <laughs> I want to cover up a bit. My husband's got the day off tomorrow. My son's got an exam clash. 
So two of exams are at the, his exams are at the same time. So although he's only got two in the day, which is good, but they're both supposed to be, I think, in the afternoon. So he's got to do one early in the morning and one in the afternoon. And what that means is that he's got to be um, accompanied all the time by someone so that he can't discuss what was in the paper with anyone who hasn't yet done it because you know they're important exams um, that's the rules of the examining board so he's been told that he might n miss the bus because of leaving enough time between the exams he doesn't think he will he thinks they're being a bit overcautious you know my other son's got two exams today and he's going to finish in time to get home so he's not sure but anyway so my husband's taken the day off work in case he needs a lift home and uh, so we're going to have a day together so we're not sure. I was planning to go to the um, wetlands that I enjoy going to but I think it's going to be really hot so I'm thinking maybe I don't want to do that. I'm not sure. So uh, we haven't really um, come up with a plan. There we go. So you can see I've been doing a little bit of darker work where I think there will be shadows on our bow. Now the the background colour, these um, kite shapes and the background of here, I want to do in quite a pale green. Um, I'm going to use the quartz green because I think it goes quite well with this shade of green that we've used. Um, let's give it a sharpen. And then we'll do some brights for these florals. Quartz green. So you can see it's quite a similar, I think it's quite a similar colour. And it's interesting it's called quartz because I wouldn't use this for a gemstone because it's too pale. And too um, milky, pastel-y. But uh, it is a nice colour and it's going to work for this. So I'm hoping I can finish recording this page today and editing it and then I can have some time with my husband tomorrow if he wants us to go anywhere or do anything. He's not normally, he doesn't normally like going out on his days off, he usually likes doing nothing. But um, he's got to get up and take the um, boys into um, college because um, they like to have a lift if they've got an exam first thing just in case the bus is late and that sort of thing. Um, one of my sons has got special access arrangements which means that he can use a computer for ex his exams because his handwriting is so rubbish. And what that means is that he... Um, has to go and find out what room he's in on the day of the exam so he needs time to do that and then go and find it and things like that and he doesn't want to have to be panicking around because the bus is late it's horrible isn't it so my husband takes them in so he'll be taking them in and uh, then they'll both I don't I don't know whether They've both got two exams. I don't think they have. I think one of the boys only got one exam tomorrow, but it's in the afternoon. So he'll want to go in in the morning because the lunchtime bus is not reliable. It might not get them in on time. So again, get in early and just know you're there. I think they've got, um, yeah, they've got um, further maths tomorrow. And my son's clash is with his geology. So we need a green for these leaves. Um, I am thinking forest green. Not sure if I've used the forest green. I don't think I have. It's quite a bright green. Um, we want the pattern to sort of stand out. Oh, this lead feels a bit wobbly. It is a bit wibbly wobbly. I think I'll get away with it. I'm trying to just um, build up the um, colour a little bit so the leaves stand out from the green. But now we need something that's not green for our florals. Now, what haven't we used much of? Hmm. Hmm. I don't 
don't think we've got some browns. So I don't think we use those. We could use no. That's not really going to show up. What goes well with green? Maybe oranges. Should we try that? It's really bright. Uh, I am. Um, look at that. This is the equatorial orange. We're going to try this for you, bright colour. Why not? And all the florals will be the same colour. Now there are 100 pencils in the set and out of those 100 there are um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, about 23 greens out of 100. That's a lot as a percentage. Now I like green but it's a little bit too many, I think. Um, they aren't, there aren't massive similarities between them, which is good. But I would like to have a few more dark browns. Um, maybe a few more greys, even. Well, we don't have a white, um, which is quite interesting, but I don't know if we really need it. We've got an eggshell, which is really um, light. Um, so it's uh, yeah, it's quite an interesting range of colour. But this swatch chart that I've, I'm using is available for you to download for free um, in my Kofi shop. Um, there's a swatched version, so you can just have a little look at the colours. Obviously, because I've scanned it in with my scanner, it's this particular chart that I'm using now. Um, this is Dazzling Sun I'm going to use for the centres. Um, um yeah it's um so you can just have a look and see what the range of colors is like really and how alike or different they are as i say without using them yourself getting the idea of the exact color is tricky but because they're available open stock you could just order one and see how you feel about it or two you know um, and just have a go and see how you're happy you are. I would always advise that if your set comes open stock, try one out first. Only though, try one out if you can afford to buy the full set. Otherwise, you may find that you um, you really want to buy all of them, and you can't. Um, we've got these earrings. I'm going to do these earrings now, and then we can do the last few items. Um, in the next video tomorrow. Now with our um, pendant over here we uh, used a bit of silver. I think we'll do the same thing rather than trying to make a gold which I think is going to be quite tricky. So I'm going to use but I'm going to use the pigeon grey instead of the silver grey to use a different colour. This one is slightly browner but I think we might be able to carry it off. Let's give it a sharpen. I'm not going to use too much. Oh, I might do actually. We use it for the um, um, hooks, whatever you might call them, like that. So you want more here, and then you want to leave a white gap. Build that colour up there. And for these, I'm also going to do them here, and I'm going to just fade it towards the outside, leave some white. And then, oh, the same on the other one. Got a little circle there. I might just colour it in this. Struggling. There, the tongue comes out and then it works. <laughs> Do you colour with your tongue out when, it, when you're concentrating? I was actually being served by someone in the supermarket the other day and he did the same thing. He was... Um, weighing something that I'd bought and he had to look it up oh, gosh it's a noisy train on his um, computer and he was popped his tongue out as he was uh, um, concentrating I am going to use the iris violet um, for the um, gemstony bits um, it's really pretty 
to just try and find it. There it is. I don't think I've used it. I'm not sure. I don't think so. So we're using another sort of purple. But what I'm going to try to do with this one is to... This is a really pretty... This is my favourite purpley shade. Reminds me of um, Castle... What's it? Castle Arts Pencil on Purple Lake Deep. Oh, the fly's back. I can hear him buzzing around. And I want to try and make it more intense around the edge. A bit lighter in the middle. We we'll use a little bit of white pen on here to try and make it look like it's a bit shiny. Like it's glassy. I don't think you would have a pair of um, really expensive jeweled earrings when you're swimming. But uh, I assume that's what they are. I don't really associate them with swimming. So I'm going to uh, grab my Posca. And I'm just going to put a bit of shine on each side. Like that. There we go. Right, so we have done quite a few bits. It's come out a little bit. So we've done this bit, this bit and this bit today. So there's that bit. So that's us for today. And as I say, tomorrow we'll come back and we'll just finish it. Um, I think it will be fairly straightforward because um, all these tiles will be the same. So, and the, this um, little bikini at the bottom is quite straightforward. So that's okay. And hopefully I'll be able to demo a few of the other colours that we haven't done yet, maybe. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. Um, do have a super day. Um, please subscribe, like, comment and happy colouring.